contact for a while. I thought you would enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. Also, uh, they installed the machine in the basement of the building not so long ago, so please try to be careful. The janitor told me these are hella expensive. And delicate, too. Oh, I see. So, do I start the game? Yeah, let's go. Right, so you gotta choose a name now. <laughs> I see your name over there. <laughs> yeah, but the idea is that you play the game from scratch. I see. Uh, put my name over here then. So, fuck. Oh, shit, I can't go back. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> huh. All right, gang. Gather around. What is it, Mr. B? Yeah, what is it, Bob? Oh, don't tell me you guys forgot about today. I need- Oh, oh, I know, I know! Ask me! Please, I know! Ask me! Anyone else aside from Benny? <sighs> Alright, Benny. What day is it today? Right, today is the annual fruit festival! We do a huge party on the restaurant every year! Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, heavens, me too. Well, I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? Well, uh, I need all of you to put your fruits in these baskets. You guys want fruits, right? Uh, no. Oh, heavens, what are we gonna do? Oh, no! Is the fruit festival cancelled, Mr. B? Oh, you dumb salamanders. Important. Well, I couldn't help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. My barn's filled with all kinds of fruits. Say, why don't you guys do me a small favor and I'll give you all the fruits you need. Yes! Barn adventure! I love barns! I want to see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the pigs! <laughs> Alright, Pete. We'll help. That'd be fun. All of us working. Really? What? Well, what do we want me? The hippo. Hmm. You know, something I like about the game is the, uh, the artwork. I don't know why, but there is something about it that seems, uh, really familiar to me. Huh. Right, I should show you the controls so you don't have a hard time playing later on. Mm, alright. Okay, okay, so you use this thing to move around. Mm, okay. And you use these buttons to interact with stuff. Yeah. Apples. Yeah, I've played this game for a while, a few mm -hmm. years ago, and I noticed a, a bit of stuff. Yeah? Yeah, this game looks very unfinished. <laughs> I saw a ton of errors and shit while playing the levels, and it crashed a couple of times, too. Huh. That's strange, but then again, the game did clarify it was a beta test when we turned on the machine. 
Yeah, when BSI installed these machines, they clarified that as well, but here's the thing. These glitches are very creepy, if I'm totally honest. Um, that's why I wanted to show you this in the first place. I know you're into that BSI? kind BSI? Of Bunny Smiles Incorporated. Have I heard that name before? I mean, that company has been pretty relevant these past few weeks, didn't you hear? What? What happened? Some weird rumors and shit. Apparently there was this one employee that drove to some forest a few days ago. Not too far away from here, actually. He hasn't been seen around ever since he drove to that place. Really? Yeah. The word got out quickly. Some family members say it was his first day. Well, what's his name? Um... Brian? I think? Well, I hope he's doing alright. Same. Well, who knows? Maybe he's okay. I mean, it's been a while since he was last seen, right? Brighton's not that big of a town anyways. They would have found him by now. Reminds me of this other girl. N there's more? This young employee named Ashley. Young adult. Very pretty. <laughs> she became some sort of urban legend around here. Why? People say she died inside of some old bunker from the company. Her body was never found. Most say she was privately buried. Others say she's still inside that place. Sounds like a made-up story to get little kids away from that forest. And we should probably just continue with the game. <laughs> yeah, who wants to hear about this kind of shit while playing some little child's game, right? You good, Sophie? Oh, yeah, I was just thinking about, um... Anyways, so do I have to, like, do I have to go to a certain character, or...? Ah, um, if you get close to a certain character, it'll let you access their level. Oh, neat. Eh, I don't like this one. It looks boring. Aw, she's my favorite character. Oh well, it's up to you, really. Hi, apples. I like apples, too. <laughs> I like the clown one. Alrighty, press this button. Uh, see, I told you this game was a little broken. I can tell. You know, I keep thinking about bunny smiles. It sounds so familiar. This game is bringing back so many memories, but it's so hard to just remember exactly. Ah. Uh. Sorry, um, probably just boring you with random thoughts of mine. I'll stop. No, 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 not at all, Sophie. However, I do, uh, I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. Oh, alright. Just talk to me in case you have any questions regarding the game, okay? Yeah, yeah, sh Hi, Barn. Wait, shouldn't you be in the barn with the rest of the gang? Yeah, everything's perfect. There. I'm supposed to solve this party, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Say, could you help me out to solve the puzzles? Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the big... Alright, good track. Now we need... Build this. Put that clear even there. Alright, how do I...
game is very broken, <laughs> more than I thought. Do I have to... Oh, I see. What's that? Jenny? I don't know, the game just, it just crashed. I was playing and the game just kept showing weird visuals. Huh. Yeah, it was so weird, like if I was being told something, I guess. Huh. Like a message? Maybe. <laughs> what, so you think this game is haunted or something? I, I don't know. Maybe the time where I was playing and there would be times which I would do certain stuff, that would cause the game to glitch and display some bizarre visuals and stuff. Anyways, it's getting very late. You sure you want to play right now? Why not just wait so we can play together tomorrow morning? I mean, you can go to sleep if you want, Jenny. Alright. Good night, Sophie. Good night. Alright, let's start this. Fuck. Don't tell me I lost all my progress, cause I... I'm not entering that clan level again. I think... This is a save where the glitch occurred, and I really feel like I should dig deeper into this. I'm expecting to see a bunch of glitches since, like, the save file is corrupted, so... Yeah. Huh. Those are pigs. Whoa! Pretty farm place! Why, hello there! Whoa! Pretty horse girl! I'm a 
supposing you two are here to help me feed the pigs, right? Yes, you speak my love, guys. I want to feed them and take care of them and play with them and dance with them and laugh with them and play with them. <laughs> All right. I need you two to pay attention to what I say and follow the instructions I give you. Okay. So, first of all, do not open the cages unless I tell you to. What do you mean if I open the cage? I think it would be really funny. I think it would be really, really funny. Yeah, I think I'm going to open the cage now. Yeah. All the pigs have escaped to the hippo house. Danny, you dumb bunny. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. It looks like they each entered a different door. We'll have to find keys for each door. Okay, so basically we'll have to catch the pigs, I think. Okay, huh. Gotta find the keys for these doors. I'm already starting to notice a few errors. Mm. I see the blue key under that coach. Mm, gotta find a way to get to it though. What if you take this? Shit, it worked. Alright, should lead to this. Okay, I think I know what to do. Yeah, there we go. I noticed that these errors act in a certain way, as if that unknown error mentioned earlier was something or someone trying to talk to me or trying to get me to do something. Like, if whatever is going on wants to get me to do something, because... Especially because these have all occurred when I interact with the characters, could it have something to do with them? I've also noticed that I talk to myself a lot. Our techno support audio log number three, uh, June 30th, 1974. Jeremy's birthday party finished an hour ago. I decided to stay and help the employers clean the place. This week has uh, been uh, strange, especially because of the opening. Uh, I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Wharton disappeared a few weeks ago. I uh, hope he's doing alright. Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Uh, I'm pretty worried about it. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh, uh, the birthday party, uh, the birthday party, yes. Uh, everything went according to plan. Uh, this was the first birthday party in the restaurant, and I feel it turned out pretty well. Uh, I noticed a few irregularities in the stage and in the audio animatronics. As the engineer and the person who basically built 
the animatronics to begin with. It was easier to notice these, uh, it, especially in Bonn. Uh, that something, something fell off. Uh, the limbs weren't moving properly. They looked stiff and odd, mainly in his right arm. It took a few more minutes to take him to the backstage, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to take long. confusing and, and scary, but it felt like I was being told a story or a certain event. I mean, clearly I was, but, um, yeah. Thing is, the pills have been making me forget a lot of stuff from my teenage years and my childhood, and, like, I started taking them for a reason, but I really don't want to think about it. I shouldn't be reading this. Mm. 
Mon, what a wonderful surprise. I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party, right? <laughs> wonderful. You see, I need someone to help me set up the games for the party. Say, why don't you help me set up the games? What do you think? Fantastic. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. It'll be lots of fun. Again, I feel like this could be related to a person trying to tell the player something, maybe even a ghost, because this game really makes it seem like the people shown on screen died. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step right up. Get ready for entertainment like you've never seen before. Start with something simple. Memorize. Take a close look at this picture. Time's up. Let's play. Well done. Oh dear. Well done. Oh dear. Well done. Congratulations! You're very good at this. Right. It's time for the real game. Let's play Spot the Differences. <laughs> this one's a bit hard. But a... Look at this image. Look at this image.
You spotted a difference. Great job. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. No, nope. try it again. Well, that's not the difference. You spotted a difference. Great job. You spotted a difference. Great job. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. You spotted try a again. difference. Well, Great job. You spotted a difference. Great job. Let's move on to the next image, shall we? Look at this image. Look at this image. You spotted a difference. Great job. You spotted a difference. Great job. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try again, would you? You spotted a difference. Great job. You spotted, you spotted a difference. A difference. Just let's move on to the next image. Look at this image. You spotted a difference. Great job. You spotted a difference. Great job. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. Uh, try again, would you? You spotted a difference. Great job. You <laughs> nope, <laughs> that's not nope. the difference. That's nope. not the difference. Congratulations! You completed my, my game! Now, I'm for the prizes! sense as something like something like this can make <sighs> these are all faces of uh, people people that I think I knew when I was younger I knew these people and for some reason my brain just forgot about them or what happened to them I doubt they're alive anymore I mean maybe they are but it's unlikely because I would have heard from them by now and this, this game really tries to make it seem like these people died, not in very pleasant ways either. I really don't want to think about it anymore, but Jesus. I, I genuinely don't know if digging deeper into this is the best decision, but curiosity is killing me right now. Heavens, this place is so beautiful. Hi, Vaughn. Didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Oh, I just really wanted to check on you and see if everything is alright. Aw, oh, that's so sweet from you. However, I already finished my task, but you can stick around if you want. How about we play a game? That oh, sounds fun. What would you like to play? What about hide and seek? Oh, I love that game. I'll hide. Great, this is going to be fun.
I need to find a sheep. Much fun playing with you. How about you had now? beautiful to you, Sophie. I know you found you.
one and come all, welcome to my magic fountain of memories. Step right up and enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my magic. Let's take a small trip down memory lane, shall we? Tell me, what is it you would like to remember? Here goes nothing. Holy shit. That's my old house. Hello, Bob. I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car base. All that's left to do is change. I was wondering if you could give me a rose a small favor tonight. Oh, I, I don't know, Jack. Today's been nice. It's, it's, it's about uh, an emoli. They have a school event tonight. A school party and they have no one to pick them up. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork and Rose is um, taking Sophie to the dentist. We were wondering if you could pick them up for the event and take them home later. Tonight? Yeah, if it's possible, of course. <laughs> sure, I can do that. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks a lot, man. You're the lifesaver, Felix. <laughs> it, it's nothing. Alright, so, can't pick them up at 5 and get them home at 9. Rose should be home by then. If she's not, you call me. Got it? Got it. I remember this conversation. memory seems to be buried deep within your mind. You must find them, Sophie. Oh my god, I gotta take a deep breath. That was this. Uh, this is... This just got so much deeper than I thought, and now I think I... I know what's happening. I recognize these faces, all of them. I, I know all of them.
Molly. I'm just, uh, I'm just trying to get you to, I'm just trying to get you to home quickly, alright? Look, I'm, 
I'm sorry, I just, I'm not feeling too good right now, I really just, just I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's alright, we get that today wasn't the best for you, we understand, everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> Thanks Molly. Five new messages. Felix, pick up the phone. Now, I need you to pick up the phone. It's been three hours since I told you to get Ed and Molly home. What happened to my children? If anything happened, Felix, you must tell me. You haven't told me in three hours. I need to know what's going on. I'm trying to call you all night. What the hell is wrong with you? I... I've been trying to contact you all night. I've been calling everyone for you. But what the hell is wrong with you? Three hours, you didn't call. I asked you to do one simple favor for me. I need to know, where are they? Where did you... Oh, no. 
shadow space No one's left at the masquerade Everything is through, dear, but my love for you, dear, lives on. 